Hi, I'm Dana Toback, CEO of HyperOptic. HyperOptic is a full fiber company in the UK servicing urban areas, mainly in large residential blocks, but also doing infill and starting to expand into full urban areas. We're nearing uh, 500,000 homes passed with the goal to reach 2 million in 2022 and 5 million in 2025. In 2011, HyperOptic started doing fiber to the building in London. Um, this was a completely new concept for not only the uh, technology industry, but also the housing uh, industry. So when we would call building managers and developers and say that we were offering to install fiber to the building in their premises, they really didn't understand why they were involved in a discussion about broadband. Broadband came over the telephone wires, what more was there to say? Um, however, gradually, one building at a time, we convinced people that this was important. Of course, it was the residents that made the big difference. The demand from people who wanted better than what they were getting either with DSL or fiber to the cabinet. So fundamentally, the first challenge was in changing the perception of what broadband is. So opposed to something that would just be flimsy and in and out working and you couldn't get the speeds that you wanted, demonstrating that fiber fundamentally worked differently. We started getting traction across London, we started working with uh, developers, and, and then it became also about the regulatory environment and making sure that we could uh, use the Wayleave tool, which is important as part of our getting, our progress, uh, and, and to be able to work with uh, developers and freeholders to look at uh, our installations as a method to adding value and adding a better uh, resident experience into their buildings. Well, since 2011, we've been focusing on offering gigabit speeds at a time when the, the incumbent and most other services were offering up to 20 meg. Potentially, if you were lucky, you might have gotten 40, 50 meg on an FTTC product. And people, when we first came out with the idea of a gig, said, Why, what would we ever need a gig for? And I think, you know, that question is, is not answerable in, in the same way that we might have thought about how do you make money uh, off, of, um, off of selling cups, for example, because it's something about our lifestyle. It's about how we will evolve. So I keep thinking about all the, all the kids that are currently in university in the science and technology classes, and if they could take away what the current infrastructure environment is, but think about the innovation when everyone is fully connected up, whether they're mobile, or fixed in home, wherever they would be, what would be the solutions of tomorrow? Now, some of them will be normal re revenue generating, like Netflix, like uh, storage in the cloud, uh, like um, sending all of your information to your friends and family. But we have other things like e-health that will be coming that won't only be about revenue, but about changing our lifestyle, about people working from home, fundamentally changing how they operate, how they interface with, with city and urban services. Uh, education will completely change. And I think all of these things are about a lifestyle change, not fully about just revenue. Um, it's about a new ecosystem of connectivity between people and the services that they require. At HyperOptic in the next three to five years, it is about growing our network. Um, we have a goal to get to two million homes passed by 2022. If possible, I'd like to surpass that goal. Um, it's about offering just the most brilliant customer experience to people that are on our network and continue to demonstrate that full fiber is the way to go. I think in the next three to four years, what we'll see is a change, uh, firstly in the UK, of moving from fiber to the cabinet to, to full fiber. I think then will become how does 5G come onto that platform and the, and, and the interrelation between uh, 5G, the internet of things, and fixed mobile. Uh, sorry, and fixed mobile and fixed access in the home and how all those things play together. I think we'll see a lot more interconnectivity where, where people, uh, devices will just 
work, it won't be important. We have to put in your Wi-Fi password here and you're fixed here and, and you will have multiple connections as well as par for the course. And then I think, you know, we talk about one gig as being something so stupendous. What would we ever use that for? But it's clear in the next three to five years, certainly to businesses, we'll be rolling out faster services to that and potentially to really forward thinking residents as well.